Man, Dad won't let me get play video games. Also, I just got 10,000 steps. I guess I'll just read. No. No. Dad, is this one of your war game books? Oh, no, yeah. Sorry, Charlie. What the heck even is War of the Roses? Uh, that's when people in England were fighting over who should be the king. You know what, Charlie? You want to be the king of our house? Here you go. Thank you. Now let me play video games. And eat ice cream. And play it on your phone at the same time. That's Charlie and Miles. I'm Mark. Welcome back to Mark's Game Room. If you like knights in armor, thundering cavalry charges, English longbowmen, and colorful heraldry, we have a really great war game today. We're going to go back to the Wars of the Roses, 1469's The Battle of Edgecott. I became interested in the Battle of Edgecott when I visited my friend who lives near the battle site in Northamptonshire in the UK. We walked the landscape and the beautiful English countryside captured my imagination. So why was there a battle here? Well, Richard Neville, the Earl of Warwick and famously known as the Kingmaker, had been instrumental in placing Edward IV on the throne of England. He believed that he would wield the power behind the throne, but by 1469, King Edward had different ideas. He and Warwick fell out over a whole range of issues. Finally, Warwick took action, provoking a rebellion against the king in the north of England. A rebel army, led by a leader using the mysterious nom de guerre Robin of Reedsdale, marched south towards Northampton to link up with Warwick's army, which was marching north from London. King Edward's army was outmaneuvered by Reedsdale and he sent urgent messages for Herbert, Earl of Pembroke, and Stafford, the Earl of Devon, to join him from Wales and the West Country. Pembroke and Devon's well-armed and well-armored men ran into Reedsdale's rebels near Edgecott Hill in July of 1469. The night before the battle, Pembroke and Devon had a falling out. Devon then reportedly moved his troops away from Pembroke on his own which was unfortunate because although Pembroke had heavily armored mounted knights, Devon took away all of the archers. The next morning, July 24, 1469, rebel archers began to skirmish with Pembroke's men who camped on Edgecote Hill, drawing a fierce reaction from the Earl. The battle was on. He launched his cavalry in a charge down the hill across this open plain known as the Danes Moor. Across the field, Robin of Reedsdale had his men lined up along a stream, which today is marked by this line of trees. Reedsdale hoped to hold off Pembroke's assault until reinforcements arrived from Warwick. So why was the outcome of this battle important for the War of the Roses, and you know, why should we wargame it? Well, in preparing for this video, I read the book The Battle of Edgecott, 1469, Re-Evaluating the Evidence. And I'm lucky enough to have its author, Graham Evans, join me in the game room today. Hey, Graham. Why is this unknown to most, certainly Americans, Battle of Edgecott? Why was it important in the Wars of the Roses? You're right. It's not known. To, it's not very well known to a lot of uh, English people either. It's um, the point at which there is no turning back for the Earl of Warwick. So Warwick's known as the kingmaker because he puts both a Yorkist and a Lancastrian on the throne. After Edgecote, despite the fact that him and Edward IV supposedly make up, after this, everybody knows there's no way back. And he's going to go eventually and become a Lancastrian. So that's why it's important. And if his army loses, then he's in deep trouble and he probably ends up being attainted as a traitor and, and so on. Not that he's at the battle, of course, but that's that's the importance of it. What's the reason to war game? What can what can you come away with at the end? You know, I, I mean, I think the period is attractive because the people in it are so much larger than life. 
Mm. It is absolutely in this period. This is this is the peak of the armorer's art in terms of armor that you wear in a battle. It doesn't get any better particularly. And they are functional and they are beautiful as well. And you and they shine, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And that has that a particular attraction. And then you have the myth of the longbow, the yeoman of England shooting their cloth yard shafts. And there are some great range of figures out there as well. I mean, everybody's very excited about the Perry 28 mils. That's attractive. I mean, the heraldry, it is nice to paint and it, and it does look colorful and all of that. But it is, you know, what we all wanted to be when we were growing up, probably, you know, knights in armor. So let's wargame the Battle of Edgecoat and see if Pembroke can defeat Robin of Reedsdale and dash the Kingmaker's plan to become the power behind the throne of England in this real-life Game of Thrones. We will be using the rules Test of Resolve to fight this War of the Roses battle. Victory will go to the side that can break their opponent's army morale first. The Yorkists, or as Graham has told me, it really should be the Royalists, start with 21 army morale points. Reedsdale's rebels start with 18. Each time a unit takes a hit, the army morale drops by one point. When an army reaches zero and takes more hits, they must pass an army morale check or flee the field. Keep an eye out for these roses to check on each side's army morale. Two other things to watch for are the cards and the dice. Each card tells the players what action they can do, and the color indicates which side can do them. Finally, combats are resolved by rolling d12. Melee combats are opposed rolls, with the highest modified roll winning the fight. Hey, good to see you, Mark. Ben Graham and I will provide commentary. Hello, Mark. Good to see you. Okay. Here are the opposing forces. The Yorkist faction is led by Herbert, the Earl of Pembroke, who is leading an army from Wales. He leads two units of mounted troops, one being armored knights in full plate armor. As the Lancastrian rebels have no mounted men, this is Pembroke's biggest advantage. His knights are backed up by five units of retinues of various quality. The rebels are led by the mysterious Robin of Reedsdale. Although they lack cavalry, they do have three units of archers to try and counter the mounted threat. They are also backed up by foot retinues. And Sir Parr and Sir Clapham are headed to the battle as reinforcements. They will arrive once Pembroke's men cross the stream. Pembroke's army starts on Edgecote Hill with their mounted retinues out front. The rebel archers start at the foot of the hill, nine inches from the cavalry. The rebel foot troops start across the Danes Moor on the opposite side of the stream. Sir Parr will enter behind the stream, and Sir Clapham's small retinue will appear on the flank of Pembroke's men. Now let's hear how each side is planning on winning the battle. Hi, I'm Charlie. You already know me. Today we have a special guest. Hi, I'm Miles. I'm going to be Robin of Reesdale, and he's Lord Parr. Parr! And I'm Alex. I'm going to be the GM today, and I'm going to help these guys out a little bit. Yeah, our basic plan is to bait him and his cowboy. Uh, classic plan. Down maybe to the water line. If he does get to the other side, though, we're going to have these guys over here, which you guys can't see. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about that, but we have these guys that yeah. are coming with us. So your plan is to draw them off the hill, yeah. have them attack you, and then once they get down here, you're going to yeah. have, right. have it out. Seems reasonable. Right. Classic right. plan. Let's talk about the main plan. plan. Yeah. Let's go with Back that. Yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Carl, and I will be playing the Earl of Pembroke. And I'm Matt, and I'll be playing his unnamed deputy or retainer. Uh, our tactics for this battle are quite simple. We are going to move forward at best possible speed and crush the rebels. We feel that any tactics whatsoever 
are a sign of base cowardice. <laughs> we didn't even bring our archers to this battle because right. uh, such So their plan is to be baited in. To be baited in and do what you do yeah. against rebels. You crush them. That's right, and uh, he's the one on the horse going first. So uh, I'll just see how that goes. Yeah, it's a bit of spin there. They didn't leave the archers behind. They ran away. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Action! <laughs> All right, gentlemen, are we ready to start? Rebels, are you ready? Yeah, is that Spielberg? Yeah, we're ready. You guys, you're always ready. Ready to vanquish them. Okay, yes. I'm going to create the first no, uh, play deck. Right, looks like a it's a single card talk. for the Rebels. Oh. Get and look at that, it's a fire card. Oh, okay. It's 11. It's 11, so that's a hit. First oh, of all, you all take a... Uh, a loss, you have to take a bad one. Okay. So my men are being shot. 20. I hope you have a plan. We have reserves. And now, <laughs> right, next part. unit that's, that's what I want to well, know. Well, I'll tell you, at this yeah. point, having shot off one round of arrows, they oh, should really turn hit. around and run for it. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's, right. it's quite a distance oh, to the river help. from where yeah, they are. Right, sir. right here. Oh, the next deck is a single card. Oh. No. Moving melee. All right. Excellent. Let's ride these fools There you down. go. He, he heard you, Graham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should be saying that in a Welsh accent. Oh, yeah, right. Now, these archers couldn't be carrying that much ammunition if they're going to be running. It's just what they can carry on their backs. Well, they should be carrying they have about 24 hour All right, so they're going to go back nine inches. They're nine inches away. I'm going to just There's no way that you can stand. Once, once they come off the top of the hill on the horses, all right, it's yeah. basically right. shoot an arrow and stick your head down and run for it. Yeah, Fire and strength and resolve. They sure are running. All right. All right, so. Oh, it's Ooh. Oh, that's well. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Terrifying yeah. dice so far. Yeah. All right, so they're, they're kind of rallying up here. A 10, I think I may be successful. Yes, that's that's good. Excellent. So our oh, forces will good. be strong. All right, All right next card. It's like they've loaded all the dice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flummoxed. So to them, right? And now this becomes your card. All right, so here the cards change. So instead of being Yorkus, it goes Lancastrian. Do we have to roll across the river? No, we don't. No, no don't cross it. All right, I'm going to move these don't guys here it. to cross the river. Uh-oh, the rebels are crossing the river. Already Why did they do that? Well, you'll hear it right here, I think Those, he says. But some of these guys are mine, and I don't want to cross the river. Okay, well then I'll take the inf the superior force and that force, and we're going to move across the river. Are we, uh, are we got tactics being driven by boredom here? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> I think he's super aggressive. I've, I've I think, come, I think I've come all this way, I'm going to move some toys. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> he, he's definitely a rash commander, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've all done that. Yeah. What do you mean? I've got to sit here behind defenses. <laughs> okay, so anybody else going to move? I'm not following the plane. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay. I'm the rebel. I'm resistant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens in the rebel side. Is it, is it a rebel never, never I, does I what question you should the tactics, but I right. can't fault the attitude. Right. Oh, 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 here we go. Out. More bows. Pull. It irritates me fire. It's pull. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, sorry, we got it. All right. You oh, anger the historian. Yeah. Oh my God. I thought yeah, it was yeah. shoot. Is it like shoot the Bismarck? Yeah. Well, the, the French, the French use tire, which is pull, don't they? And they use that for both bows uh, and, and again, rifles. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't either. I love it. <laughs> now we go back. We have two for the York. York is think each of those 24 arrows count. You have a moving melee. Yeah. No. Yeah. Guys, we'll soon get into the action. Uh oh. Here they I mean, come again. Archer, Here they are, come. Are these, are these dice got just 12s on them? <laughs> oh, this can't be good for the archers. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I walked the battlefield with an archer, and he did say the first thing I would do if a cavalryman came off the hill is I'd turn and run away. He was absolutely adamant about it. Um, They're gonna try here. Oh, one. so oh, good. One. So one's and one twelves. Yeah, and they get yeah. ridden down. That's about right. So then okay. those guys can withdraw. And these guys are still running for their lives. Do I know? Back here. Yeah. Back for, I got this, I got this. I got you. Flee. Bravely right? flee. So let me... Yeah, leaving their... their uh, Brave Sir Robin. The yes. <laughs> Y'all just ran away, away. <laughs> All right, we're going to start the next turn. So you guys get six cards. 
flummox. No! <laughs> All six cards. And are... then it's and then it's and then it's a may and wait, what if they get? No, these flummox. are your cards. Yeah. They get a flummox. So, okay. Oh, <laughs> Next card is flabbergasted, which changes what this card is. Yay! So this is a move and melee. Yay! Yes. That turns into a move three plus. Gross, right? Uh -huh. So you rolled a five. Rolled so, a five. So uh, that means that our with the plus three bonus from the card, the infantry are moving eight inches and the cavalry are moving ten. All right. Fantastic. This should be enough. It should be enough to make uh, contact. It won't be enough. Yeah, it will. off as long as we can. Wait, when when are the reinforcements coming? So now we have a melee here. Judge! A nine. We rolled a nine. Very good. Yeah. An excellent yeah, roll. Good. A five. A five. Oh. So, oh. so let, let me see. Uh, run, <laughs> cowards. I guess. How much you did lost that two. Have? We take two Should off here. Like it? it looks like the... The rebels are on the other side of the river and getting uh, hammered. Test, we have to take a morale check, a test of resolve uh -oh. check. Okay. I think that it, I told you, at, at this point, good. if to a me, I would be deal. getting off my horses. No, I didn't. I, that was not Twelve. Like Twelve. Wow, they want to be there. So you either can run away or you can go for another round. We fight to the last man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a board gamer. Yeah! yeah. More tactics, the great attitude, front. and they good die rolls. So, you know, you can't beat good dice. Uh, yes. That's not me. Nice. Nice. Fighting to the last roll. Right. Sorry, I think you must fall back. I told I, you I, I didn't hold them off. I think my, my courage is, is fading, sir. We, <laughs> we can't keep taking these losses. Oh, no, go. fall back. It's too much. Flush. told you I yeah. Do you know how expensive these horses are? No, go. I have I no <laughs> idea how expensive a horse is. I, 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 I don't know how expensive a horse is now, let alone then. I mean, one of the reasons I think the English get off to fight is because the horses are so expensive. You can't afford to lose them. Yeah. Um, Would you like to return to the battle, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, yes. Uh, but Actually, first, let's move our infantry sir. forward. Uh, oh, sure. Send the contact, infantry then. forward. They don't okay. cost as much. Send in the foot. Yeah, yeah, send forward. in the foot. This is how we won Agincourt, What's isn't this it? Cost money? <laughs> ah, it's one of Warwick's men. Wow. Oh, where's Warwick? Yes. Two. That's a a kill. Kill. So they did load these dice, right? I mean, it's been... <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> that, that is not any fancy editing. Those not are the good. actual the cards go back to these guys. All the right, first here we one go. is a move and melee. All right, always. Let's. I'm gonna melee. Move back, bro. Of course he I'm is. not moving. Okay, I'm moving back with them because okay. they're our best unit, and they are surrounded. So. All right. Twelve. Gets out of, another oh, twelve. Oh, gets out of dodge. Oh, is this a is this a reroll? I, I mean, <laughs> I, I I do need to inspect so, these dice. So, <laughs> let me see. Uh, run, coward. And now, what about these guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a two. Oh, there are yeah, numbers there, on the dice. Look at that. <laughs> Look. All right, push yeah, them back. Do you guys want to keep fighting or do you want to uh, turn tail? Turn tail. No, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Us? Keep fighting. Yeah, because no, we don't want... We're they gonna told us to... <laughs> they told us to the do set it. In the rebel they camp. want us to do it. No, no. we were given your options. So. We're going to turn tail. They will. Ooh, I, feel, I feel like the fighting experience is unlikely. first. Now the guy that was all aggressive about the river is like, run! And the yeah. other guy's like, no, no, keep going! Stay <laughs> across the river and fight! I tried that, I didn't like it. Yeah. Right. So in this in this turn, these guys are going to Oh, here they come, Sir Parr. Oh, this is, this is Clapham with all the rabble from Northampton, is it? Uh, no, it's first is Parr. Yeah, there he is, comes in behind. So they're moving forward. Do your reinforcements? Have like, uh, okay, okay. So William Parr and Sir Geoffrey Gates. A fire yes. Card. So you still have some missiles. Still missile got some missile. arrows. Some of those twenty-four arrows still going. Nine. Nine. That's gonna be a hit. That is a hit. Yes. They ever miss? All right. One card for you guys. You got. No, I don't think they do. <laughs> the idea is they're uh, very it's good. The longbowmen of old England. Across the river! Across the river! Steady, man! Uh, They're not going to miss with those red dice anyway. Hey. Yes. Well, here we go. This is it. The big climactic battle on the river. 
I could be picky here and say actually it's a stream and the, the word in French is Riviere which means stream or tributary. Listen. I think that, three should that, be in the now. We need to preserve those others because they're deep. This is it, Sir Matcher, moment of glory. <laughs> Ooh. Sir and an 11. Very good number, sir. That's all. Three, why did you let me roll? Oh, two, that's going to be three, expensive. Four, two, two resolve points. I hope this is deserving of promotion, sir. Ten. <laughs> I, think, I think at this point you might have to just become the Earl of Edgecott. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three cards for you guys. Hi, Millers. Okay, move and melee. All right. <laughs> now hold, hold it on this now card. Clap with the on this attack. card, you have an ah, okay. that enters. But, See, this is the problem with knowing what's going to happen. Reinforcements come in here. See how far they move. They get oh, an eleven. What? They are certainly within. Because... So this should be game over. Just move them so they hit the This, this should be it. Yeah. Wow. And we've got a nice flank attack. And now we have our most exciting melee, which is a flanking melee. And we roll a six total. Okay, okay so now you roll. I'm gonna give you my oh, helmet for good luck. But yeah. Oh, look, he's going for a magic helmet here. Spear and magic. The magic helmet, helmet change, yes. <laughs> they don't need it rolling. But it works. Oh, one. Ooh. One. That is that is not the number you need when you want to make it game over with your. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh, they failed their morale check. You mean they've walked all the way from Northampton to turn around and walk all the way back again? <laughs> well, they're probably okay. very tired. Yeah, Next oh, step yes. for the, uh, the Yorkists, right, well, um, move and melee. All right. Okay, so what happens yes. now? Yes. Um, very good. Well, they keep We're, keep we're in unknown in the territory now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, oh, so they're then, committing They're committing to the center. Would you like to commit these four? Committing to the uh, crime. Think, yeah, right, so we have some melees. <laughs> Sorry, Robin, eight. They can break wow. it in the center. Give me another hit. Well, it should be. This should be it now. Very good. We're gonna win. What do you think, sir? Sir, should we be out of here? Keep fighting. Keep Don't fighting. Give up. I'll never stop. Give up. <laughs> Fight on. Fight on. We're at a minus five, I think. At a minus five. An eleven. So a six total. Hey, what do I need? So you need an eight to do damage. A one. Oh God, oh, I understand that. Oh. That's a so kill. That ah, John Conyers. Oh my goodness. Dead. Dead. Oh, there so it is. So these guys go to Seven to eight. Two. How did that happen? Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Now you have to choose. Would you like to continue fighting or turn tail? No. Oh, come on. Keep fighting. Of course, oh, keep fighting. Yes. So it's, gonna... it's not good when you lose your leader, is it? <laughs> no. That seems bad. We must avenge his death. <laughs> Three or higher to do damage. Eight. Eight. So you definitely do damage. So it's a difference of six, which is two damage to me, and the unit is destroyed. Right. Yes! And that brings us down to a mere five morale. Uh -oh. looking grim. I destroyed their superior force! Okay. Sir Matt, yes? I want my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we may have to quit the field, sir. Okay, next card goes back to the rebels. They have a move. The Royalists are losing heart. All right. Oh. We're going to issue a counter What would you like attack. to do? Oh, man. Aggressiveness is bad. We're all going to move nine inches, crossing well. the river to attack. And I'm going for yeah, my attack. group of people Yeah. over here. You get... I say we cross the river yeah. and attack. So, we, so we're all in agreement. Uh oh, coming <laughs> back. <laughs> got no arms, got no legs. I'm coming back. So it's counterattack. Okay, so attack. these guys are going to um, go in. Yes. Uh, with a minus four, that brings us down to you seven. Guys, I so need... You need a nine to do damage to us. Okay. It's a nine. 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 Ah, That's so a kill. Nine one. All the remaining damage, which means... Ooh, the counterattack's working. Kill. That's a kill. I think it was, yeah, it was they have one dice yeah. left. Okay, very good. All right, we now we do the next one. Seven. So minus you roll. one versus even up. Right. Right. Oh, wow, yes. cool. you have eight, which is just an eight, so you need to have the the 11 middle. to do damage to us. Okay. Come on, Charlie. 12! Well, of oh. course! Oh, oh, of course it's a 12, up. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're over that phase. <laughs> um, I'm attacking <laughs> these troops right here. This is it. Sir Par with the counterattacking reinforcements. All right, so I have a 10, minus two is an eight. 12, 12 again. Plus two is 14. Mm. You should never fight kids in a war game, right? 
Well, it's, 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 so it's WC Fields never work with children and animals. <laughs> never right. let kids bring their own dice <laughs> in a war game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, check it out. The Yorkists or Royalists have no morale left. Well, that's that's run away from them really quickly, isn't it? Because yeah. they were within a couple of points all the way through, and it's... Uh... Yeah, no, it's just been a catastrophe with this counterattack. They've lost unit after unit. Yeah. All right, and then we shall fight. Fight the melee. So we have the light cavalry fighting with the archers here, who are being supported by their retinue. So this, this is definitely an advantage to the cavalry. I rolled a three. Uh, so you're in two. A two versus an eight is a six difference, which is two damage. Two damage. Is yeah. Yeah. Zero to five. Very good. Closing the gap. They're down to five. Don't they rat when they get to zero? Yes. They're down to two. Once you're at zero, uh, you make an armored morale check every for the morale point you take. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Lock, okay. Eight. So they're removed. So they're dead. One now the Lancastrian oh. rebels They could pull this out. Could it be that both armies will fail at the same time? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next we have my household guard who are superior. All right. Here we go. It's... Oh, oh no! Oh! I believe that means that I'm dead. In, he has been killed. Case. No! Why did he say that? He was oh, just asking gosh. for trouble, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't call your shot. Ne <laughs> never <laughs> taunt the dice gods. <laughs> no. All right, now it's the big army we're out. All right. All right so Girl, because Pembroke's my dead. because my general was killed and our, we're out of battle morale points, I have to make a battle morale test. That's correct. And if we don't roll a 10 or higher, then the, our army will break and quit the field. That's oh, no. bad on a d12, right? Yeah, yeah but it's, it, it always comes up 12, so it's not a problem. No! It's the white die, so... The victors are magnanimous. That, that's a classic medieval taunt in your face. <laughs> oh, this should be messy. Okay. <laughs> This is mandatory from the rebels. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I, this this is, looks like a perfect reenactment of a medieval execution to me. I, I, I'm not entirely sure there are any re, any records of a of a medieval firing squad using crossbows or longbows or either. Because, of course, as we all know, he he is uh, summarily executed, has his head removed. Um, which well, how would you bit... like to kill him, Mr. Historian? <laughs> well, just... Come on, there must be an axe somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't turn out so well for the Earl of Pembroke today. Congratulations on your victory, buddy. Awesome. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. We will probably do more War of the Roses videos. And I want to thank Graham Evans for participating with us. He's also a war gamer and has a lot of great rules on the War Game Vault. So check out the links below. He's also involved in the Northamptonshire Battlefield Society. They have a lot of great programs. If you want to participate virtually or in person, we have the links below. Uh, finally, the Seventh Sun YouTube channel. He has a ton of great videos on how to paint the characters in this battle. So you can check him out. His videos are well worth it. Now, guys, I have two really fun announcements. First, the next video from Mark's Game Room is going to be the Battle of Thermopylae. The Little Wars guys are going to come down and take on Matt and Carl in a really great battle. If you're on Patreon for Little Wars TV, you might have seen some behind-the-scenes photos of the making of the Thermopylae terrain. So, what's the next big announcement, Charlie? January, June 6th, June. 2023, mark your calendars, D-Day. Mark's Game Room is hoping to be released sometime around then. That's right, we're going to have our but own wait. YouTube channel. What? what? Are we still going to work with the Little Wars guys? Yes, we're awesome. they, they are awesome. We are going to still work with the Little Wars guys because we think they're awesome. We have a great time. But we want to have our own channel so we can have our own content. So June 6th, D-Day, 2023, mark your calendars. We're going to open with a Battle of Carentan scenario, Normandy, 1944, with an incredibly special guest. You don't want to miss it. So stay tuned, and we look forward to seeing you next time, my friends. Take care. Bye. Like and subscribe. I honestly think these two newbies didn't put up a challenge. That's why I was like, <laughs> during some of the parts, these two newbies. Give us more of a fight. Someone who's never played a war history game before. So me? I've only, no, not me. Me. I've played, me. Them. I've well, played them before. I guess our strategy of uh, charging straight at them 
did not work out as well as I had planned. To... I think it was fine in intent and maybe not in execution, but we'll just have to try again.